hello, hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Heat Press Nation Live. My name's Jared. And I'm Ryan. And uh, yeah, we're ready to have a blast today. How you doing, yeah, man? I'm doing great, I'm great. It's a really busy week with the new website, of course, it's same as last. It's been crazy, huh? It has been. Are right. you guys hanging in there? Yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Good, good. We really, we're trying to fix the process right now. Uh, just a couple, you know, things we need to iron out, but I'm really excited about the new website. I've got yes. a lot of good feedback about it. I, I think we're really gonna be uh, excited about this one. Excellent, for those of you guys who are wondering, what the heck are they talking about? Uh, Heat mm -hmm. Press Nation, we're very proud to have just launched mm -hmm. our brand new version uh, of the website. So if maybe you haven't visited heatpressnation.com in a while, do yourself a favor, head on over there, same website, heatpressnation.com, but when mm -hmm. you get there, I think they're gonna notice a couple things. Yeah, like, uh, no, it's a lot more yeah. sleek, it's more streamlined, it's just a better user-friendly website. If you have any problems, just call us up, our customer service will take care of them. But exactly. I think you guys will really enjoy the new website. Yeah, and, and, like, and like Ryan said, it's been kind of crazy with whenever something new comes mm -hmm. out, especially with technology, yeah. You know, there's going to be a couple bugs in the system, exactly. uh, but have no fear. Our helpful, mm -hmm. awesome uh, team is here to fix everything. So if you have any questions, like Ryan said, give us a call. But really, we appreciate your patience, yeah. especially on the phones. We've been getting, we get a lot of calls normally. We do, but <laughs> this, it's like Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. So we appreciate your patience, you guys. Uh, remember, there's also uh, other ways that you can uh, reach out to us. You can email us, mm -hmm. support at heatpressnation.com. You can, if you have a technical support question, you don't want to wait on hold, mm -hmm. you can submit a technical support ticket. Heatpressnation.com. Uh, just go over to the technical support. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the URL right now because again, uh, we kind of changing some things around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything is still there, so you can still file your support tickets uh, online. And of course, mm -hmm. yeah, any questions you guys have, feel free to give us a call. Mm -hmm. Oh, our chat is open as is. well. I got to mention that. So when you're on the website, if you want to ask somebody via chat, mm -hmm. uh, the little window should quick come question. Up it's yeah. nothing you want to stay in line for. If there's a little little wait on the phone, just do the chat. Quick sales question, we'll get it answered for you. Exactly, so I'm trying to get the comments there. No worries, Unsuccessful. No worries. But uh, hey, we have everybody on Facebook here. We are having some issues with our YouTube, so if you're regular, uh, yeah. regularly watching on YouTube, we apologize about that. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely get that squared away by next week. Yeah. But we wanna say hey, hey everybody on, on Instagram. By the way, we got Rod doing? over there. What's up, Rod, how you doing? Good, how are you guys? Doing good, doing good. So Rod's there with our Instagram. Uh, Fan, so if you guys have any questions, uh, just shoot your question. Yep. Rod's gonna hit us up with that. I wanna say what's up to everybody on our uh, HPN on Facebook. So uh, Alicia's saying hello from Wisconsin. Uh, Nicole is saying hello from a Sunny AZ. The homie Stevie Steve holding it down in NYC. And uh, oh, we got Tierra saying hey from Alabama. Nice, hey, that's Tierra. Rod's. Uh, there Rod's, it is, that's Rod's true. From those, uh, those parts. <laughs> <laughs> very cool, very cool. Yeah, so we're really excited. So today, you know, March Madness is exactly, here. Exactly, exactly. Uh, all our viewers out there, let us know which team you're going for. If your yes. team's not in it, let us know who you represent normally, or even in who you guys think are gonna win today, or this month. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting my bracket ready. Yeah, I yeah, wanna, me too. We're yeah. gonna work something around the office. And yeah, we'll, yeah, we we'll usually, the, we usually have some, uh, well, hold on, depends on who's watching. Yeah. We usually <laughs> have something for these major sports events. We do. Not we gambling, do. of course. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, let us know. Throw, us, throw in the comments. We want to know not only where you guys are from, but who you guys have this month. Nice. Now, March Madness, of course, you know, there's going to be lots of head-to-head -head battles. Here mm -hmm. at Heat Press Nation, we're getting March right. started off with a head-to-head -head battle of our own. It's the classic age-old question, sw swing away versus <laughs> <laughs> clamp. I, got, I saw the screen. Sorry, guys. Uh, swing away versus clamp. I know this is... This, this is kind of an interesting topic because we get these Absolutely. questions a lot. Absolutely. I, honestly, Jared, the, probably the number one question I always get, especially really, when yeah. you're just starting off, is which one's right for me? Or which one am I looking for? What is the difference between them? And that's a great question, though, because I it mean, is. you can imagine for a lot of people who are starting their business, you don't want to get started off on the wrong foot. Yeah. So it's a very valid question. Mm -hmm. And it's an interesting question because there's not really a single right answer. That's like, true. I can't just mm -hmm. tell somebody like, oh, go for this heat press 100% right, of the time because right. it's not going to fit. A hundred percent of the people, right? And I'm mm -hmm. sure you, you've come across. Yeah, that. absolutely. And I know it's a it's a, it's a very valid question, like you brought up, because you, you're just faced with hundreds of presses on any side, especially yeah. ours. Um, which one's right for me? And especially, there's so many different prices. Um, so yeah, if you ever have that question too, and you, you know, give it, call in. But hopefully, this video will answer some of those for yeah, you. Yeah, it'll, it'll help get a lot of the preliminary questions. That way, you yeah, can save yeah. the really deep questions exactly. for our staff here. Um, so you, you notice we got the set decorated with kind of a, a bunch of stuff. This is uh, these are some of the most common things 
uh, that you're going to make with a regular heat press, mm -hmm. with a flat heat press. Of course, you don't see any mugs on the table because those right. require a different press. Mm -hmm. But here we have some t-shirts. Um, what else do we got? Oh, this got tipped over. But no. This is like, it's a hitch cover. <laughs> it and is. You actually, you just sublimate the insert and then you, you stick it to the hitch cover. Exactly. We got some keychains. What else do we got? Oh, we got some coasters. Coasters uh, are really popular. Dude, too, coasters the are, these are so hot. We got overhead camera right here. Check that out. That's a custom full color. Ooh, check that out. All you guys in Instagram land can see that. And then this one I really like, because look how huge that is. That one is cool. It, even, Dude. Jared, I think we have one on, that we're not showing here, but like a basketball one. Just like a back of the door oh, rim yes. basketball that we sublimated one time. Oh, we should have brought that out cool. today, yeah, huh? Very yeah, cool. We Madness. have it on the website, though. Check it Darn. out. Yeah, so you see all these different things here. And so we're going to kind of go through mm -hmm. all the different, the, the pros and the cons of each heat press. So we're actually going to start off with the clamshell. Now, Ryan, just like off the mm -hmm. top, what are some of your favorite things about the clamshell? You know, specifically with the Signature Series too, mm -hmm. uh, it's just, to me, it's personally, it's easier to load up shirts and garments. Okay, um, yeah. yeah. a cool cool thing about this one, the Signature Series, I think oh. we have the 1515, of course, is a slide out blah, drawer, blah, blah, right? Blah, blah, blah. So to me, when I'm going yeah. through different shirts and different rounds, um, it's just easier to slide it out, load it up, um, and then just push it back in. So that's a huge yeah. benefit that I like about the clamshell. Yeah, and this, again, so the slide out feature is available, of course, we have, mm -hmm. And we should just tell you up front, we have our signature series, yeah. 15 by 15 auto open uh -huh. uh, heat press over here. And then over there is also our signature series. This is a 1515 swing as away. well, mm -hmm. but it's our swing away. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite things about this, and uh, so I have, I actually have the 1620, so it's just okay. a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I love is that like, if I'm working in a small space, yeah. um, with, the, with the swing away, you see how sure. it swings out. You have to have space mm -hmm. Let's see out if I can to get the, the camera going. Yeah. A little bit. So so it takes it actually takes up a lot of space on your table. Right. You not only have to have room beside it, but behind mm -hmm. it a little bit because exactly. this kind of swings out. Whereas the clamshell, I have it on a little rolling stand and yeah. then I just I just park that. And since this slides out towards me, like I'm able to work in a really yeah. small space. So I, I, I kind of, I really do appreciate that mm -hmm. about the clamshell heat presses. Um, another thing with the clamshells is they're gonna be a little more affordable. They are, they are, yeah. yeah. So I think, you know, this is the auto open we have here, Jared. Mm -hmm. This one starts out at uh, 509 for a signature series, 15 by 15. Which is freaking steel, Yeah, if you don't need the auto open feature, say you're not gonna be away from the press, auto open's great if you need to walk mm -hmm. away. But if that's not necessary, then we have one for 469.95. That's the regular 15 by 15 slide out. So it's a little bit more of an affordable, you know, option. Dang, 469. 469 is not a okay. bad deal. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, yeah. You're not gonna find a better heat press anywhere near that price range. Right. Four sixty nine. It comes right. in under five hundred bucks. Yeah. You, you're, I'm telling you, with the uh, with the uh, slide out lower platen, with the UL exactly. listed parts, mm -hmm. with the the strong. I mean, because this thing is built fantastic. It is. Like this it thing is. is not a cheap little flimsy machine. Additional this is feature. Be... It even has a gas shock system, Jerry. Oh yes. Right? Kind of closes we... and opens up the way like the trunk of your car does. How it doesn't right. just fly open. I like, wish we had yeah. the other heat press because if you leave, if you leave your other yeah. cheapy heat press and you just kind of let it open on its own, it's gonna go, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna like fly off yeah, the table. Exactly. Uh, one other thing that we do like, and how he said you could save mm -hmm. money by going without the auto open, but if you don't know what auto open is, I'm gonna show you really quick. This is probably the only thing we're gonna demo today, and I don't want to repress this because we already pressed it, so I'm gonna pull this out. This is a really simple feature. So I got 12 seconds on my clock right now, right? Mm -hmm. You know that pressure is a little loose, so I'm just gonna tighten that up. Pressure does have to be at like a medium. All right, so check it out. Timer counts to zero like magic. Yeah. It just opens up. Cool. See that again, check that out. So you're heat pressing something. Uh, you're like, oh, hold on, yes. Oh, my kid bit another kid. <laughs> oh, shoot, hold on. And so you're talking on the phone, you're doing stuff. You know, on any other press, if you turn your back on the press, you're gonna burn something. Exactly. Uh, other transfers, like let's say you left it for an extra 15 seconds, you could actually ruin your transfer mm -hmm. depending on what you're making. I'm gonna put this back and uh, turn this off. Another now, good benefit too, Jared, is say, you know, so even if you're in the same room with it, if yeah. you wanna keep working on the vinyl, if you wanna keep on working something else, yes, even exactly. a storefront, say you have to go to the cash register to help one of the customers, that would be a good benefit of the auto Exactly, because I mean, we don't recommend, don't ever leave your heat press on and unattended. Right. right. But sometimes, let's be real. Life happens. It, oh, <laughs> life happens, and it happens right when you're in the middle of a press. Right. No, but that's a great point that you made about mm -hmm. like keeping your productivity high. Yeah. Like working on, like setting up your next shirt mm -hmm. while one's pressing. Exactly. Exactly. A genius. Yeah. So that auto open feature uh, is not mm -hmm. available on the swing away.
Right. All right. right. It's just it's just not. Unfortunately, possible. right now, yeah, we don't have that. Yeah. Time. <laughs> I mean, unless you go for like the expense, like like I think it's like what like four thousand dollars. They get really presses. expensive. Yeah, those are wild. Maybe the fusion arcade is more than two thousand though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so if you're just starting off, these are probably the better option. Right. Uh, another now. Okay, so we talked about the pros. Uh, it's more affordable, saves you some space, mm -hmm. has auto open. Right. What are they, I, th I think the big con here is going to be um, that most. Now this is an exception, the signature series. But most mm -hmm. of these, they don't have the slide out lower plaid. They don't, they don't. Yeah. So it's critical, Jared, because I mean, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but if it didn't have the slide out drawer, maybe I can even demonstrate it. Oh, you want to show? Careful, bro. <laughs> it, it's a little warm. So this, yeah. it, it's a little warm right now. No, so. you, you're always going to be careful, but especially yeah. when we're talking about high productivity jobs when you're trying to get things fast. If I did and I was adjusting a shirt, my knuckles Dude, are like I wish an you inch guys could see how close the hands are getting from the heating element. So, you know, especially if you're going through it, you're going fast and you're not careful, you might burn your knuckles. With yeah. the signature series in particular with the slide out drawer, just pop it in. You don't have to, you know, it went from, you know, one inch to probably 10 now. Uh, yeah. Just slide it back in. So that's a critical feature uh, specifically with these clamshells. So um, if it didn't have the signature, the slide out drawer though, and you know, yeah. you're worried about that, you might want to think about a swing away. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, it is a chance to save some money. Like we said, the clamshells are very affordable. Yeah. We have our Empress 15 by 15. Mm -hmm. That one is actually going for $339.95. It is, it is. Same size, no auto open, mm -hmm. no slide out door. It's a very bare bones machine. But if you want to get started on yeah. a budget, exactly. $339, exactly. that's, Great a, machine that's to start. a steal, mm -hmm. bro. Absolutely. That's a steal. So, so that is a pro, you know, in that it's very yeah. affordable. Mm -hmm. But the con is that uh, the the most affordable ones are not going to have a slide out drawer. Correct. And that's where you get a little bit of uh, gets a little crazy. It does. One more thing that we're going to share that, that's kind of you want to be wary if you have the uh, swing away uh, or the clamshell is that it's very difficult to press thick items. Now, when we mm -hmm. say thick yeah. items, I'm not talking about jackets and sweaters. Those they're thicker than a t-shirt, but they're okay. I'm talking about these puppies right here. Sublimation specifically. Yes, too, look at that. Look how time. thick that is yeah. right there. So these are going to be, I want to see these like 5 eighths inch thick. Mm -hmm. um, once you get to this level of thickness, it becomes very difficult to press it in a clamshell. Now it's possible, right. but honestly, you're going you're gonna to burn through a couple blanks uh, testing it out and getting exactly. it ready. Um, exactly. Our heat presses, we, you could remove the lower rubber to give mm -hmm. you an extra uh, little bit of clearance, right. but it's tough, dude. Like it's just, it's not the same thing. It so is, yeah. a general rule of thumb that I would always tell customers, Jared, is if you're pressing anything that's thicker than a half inch, you're going to want to move to the swing away. And the reason for it is, is just the way that it kind of closes, right? Whereas the clamshell kind of closes like an alligator's mouth. So if yeah. you picture it, the <laughs> we thicker... should call it an alligator yeah, press. Right? <laughs> it sounds so much more like gnarly than clamshell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you picture it, although this might clear, um, once you start I don't getting, think that's gonna, it that's probably kind of, actually yeah. won't. You know, um, just as a quick demonstration, I'm not going to close it on it. But the thicker that the item is, Here, I'll switch uh, yeah, go ahead. And then we'll see that as you start to close, technically the back of the press is going to hit it before the top does. And that's going to create uneven pressure, and yes. especially with sublimation, that's probably most the critical factor is getting yeah. you know proper uh, pressure distribution. Um, you're going to run into some problems. So with you know anything that's thicker than a half inch, I would recommend maybe moving to the swing away because of the way that it closes. Yeah, exactly. So while the clamshell has its obvious advantages, mm -hmm. there's some disadvantages which vary depending yeah. on what you are working on. Mm -hmm. So here, let's switch. Back I'm gonna let you. Right. I'm gonna let you take it away uh, on the swing away, which, right. dude, I am a big fan. Okay, so swing away has plenty of benefits, right? Especially the ones that we just talked about. As opposed to closing like an alligator's mouth, the uh, swing away is gonna come down all at the same time. So the element is completely Vertical. flat. It's gonna go all the way down at the same exact time. This one will accommodate up to two inches thickness. Right, you might even get away with a little bit more if you remove the uh, yeah. silicone pad, but that's a good general rule of thumb. So this, especially if you're doing sublimation, Jared, yes, critical, right? So some of the big elements you have to consider about sublimation is one, you're going to be pressing this for more than a minute, you know, so yeah. up, sometimes even up to 190 seconds. Um, so you want to maintain that constant pressure, constant heat. So with the swing away, your chances of doing that are a lot higher because of the way it closes. Yeah, with with this heat press, all you would do is just loosen the knob on top, right? So you get to your right pressure. With if we're trying to press that same uh, frame in this heat press, we're going to be loosening, we're going to be adjusting, we're going to be moving the lower pad. Exactly. We're going to be like put like padding with t-shirts. We're going to be doing all mm -hmm. this crazy weird stuff just to try yeah. to get it to fit. Exactly. And it's just that's not efficient 
at all. Right. So so that would be one of the biggest benefits I could see with this is really it comes down to the pressure, Jared. Yeah. Um, but then again, going back on the cons, if we you know cross apply them is if you're working with a limited amount of space, Jared, this one might not be the best option because yeah. now you're gonna have to consider the factor. We're looking at at least, you know, maybe almost two feet in width. Yeah. So if you know if you're just starting off, limited space maybe clamshell. Um, of course, the, the swingaways are always going to be more expensive too. That's yeah. another thing. Yeah. This one starts off at $549.95 uh, for the 15 by 15, the uh, HPN Signature Series. So, you know, if that still fits the budget, I you know, got to give it a shot. Yeah, but so if we're just comparing these two presses, mm -hmm. um, they're the exact same size. This one has the auto open, so they're like a 40, it's a $40 difference. But if we didn't have the auto open, it's like a uh, what is that like an eighty or ninety dollar yeah, difference from yeah. the base model exactly. of the C press, yeah. So yeah, it's you know it's an important decision to make, Jared. So it's really it comes down to what's the best for you, right? Yeah. If I was you know to kind of summarize it, if I was to think between the two, you're just starting off and you're watching this video and you're wondering, is like, what am I going to be pressing mostly? Um, you know, am I going to start just doing T-shirts with the clamshell perfectly accommodates, or am I going to start doing? Thicker items. Thick. Yeah, even if you think you're just going to start off with t-shirts, it still might be the better option to go with this just so you're not limited in the future right, if right. you want to move on to sublimation. Um, but if you're confident that you're just doing t-shirts and thinner things than a, you know, thinner than a half inch, yeah. I think the clamshell is just fine. Yeah, and another thing to consider is maybe you want to start off with t-shirts mm -hmm. and then have a separate press running for your sublimation gear. Exactly. You can upgrade in the future because sublimation is at a different temperature mm -hmm. than most uh, t-shirt transfers. So you would have to be switching back and forth anyways. Maybe yeah. start off with the clamshell, exactly. get your t-shirts, make your money. Then when you move into sublimation, get a separate swing away and then just run them both at the same time. And that's just a smarter idea in general. Yeah. Jared, as your production starts to increase, you don't want to just rely on one machine. Right. You need to have a standby, right? That, that's just the general businesses that's yeah. going on. So um, that's definitely something to consider, Jared. That's a good yeah. point. I love it. Now, they're both going to do, as Ryan said, they're both going to be able to mm -hmm. handle t-shirts. For sure. Um, you can easily do these coasters in either one. Mm -hmm. So if it's thin and flat, right. and like Ryan said, like usually about a half inch thick is where mm -hmm. you draw the line. Uh, these I want to see. These are five eighths, so these are just over half yeah, an inch thick. Exactly. And this is right about where you start to get major problems on mm -hmm. the clamshell. So, to answer the question, I you know, I'd, I'd, if you've called in before, we've probably answered this question <laughs> for you already. What heat press is going to work best for me? Right. Um, it depends on what you plan to make. Exactly. And so it's really exciting. Like, I, it's funny. Like, it's very rare that you have a head-to-head -head battle where there's like no clear winner. Yeah. But the truth is, there is no one heat press that's good for everybody yeah this yeah it's not the way it works exactly no. you really got to judge for yourself and like i said if we didn't really answer right here always call in um do we got any questions jared what's going on here yeah we do we do have some questions here actually everybody's uh tuning in we got people saying what's up from oak park michigan hey. i got my buddy jerry saying what's up he's local around here uh michael from chino we got a. Uh, Oh, Shelly Clark saying hey from N NYC. You know, I think we're a little late on the shout outs. Okay. I'm sorry about Everybody that, guys. Everybody's <laughs> saying what's up. Uh, uh, she's, uh, we had a question asking if it's auto open. I think we answered that. This, this 15, one is. 15 yeah. And is a good thing to open. mention about the auto open, sometimes people ask, can I automatically open it or can I manually do it? You can't by the, the handlebar, but if you click the red button on the side, oh, yeah. you can, it opens. Yeah. It doesn't hurt it Let's no matter how many times you hit. Yeah, so it's an emergency release, but it doesn't matter how many times you hurt. It's not going to hurt the press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says the emergency makes it sound like a scary Right, button. right. And it's like, like red. Oh, it's a big red. Yeah, it's like it's like at the restaurants, the emergency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want to use that door. No, no, no. Right. I use this all the time for my yeah. pre-press. So I'll pre-press something five seconds, hit the button to open it up, and then I'll hit it for real. Exactly. Right there. What else we got? Uh, yeah, there? great question. We got Atlanta showing up, Santa Ana showing up. Um, oh, here's a question. Jerry's asking, do you have a press that measures your pressure? Uh, that's a great question. So, um, there is, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. the only presses that will actually measure mm. in PSI are going to be the super expensive uh, pneumatic. hydraulic or yeah. pneumatic presses. Pneumatic presses. So those ones are you're going to connect it to an air tank, Correct. an air compressor, and then there's these buttons and it go, Psh, and right. press your stuff, <laughs> Psh, and then it's done. So Very it's, commercial machines. Yes, right. and so they're they're pretty expensive. I, I want to say they start in like the three grand range, not not they including do. the air tank. Yeah, yeah, and the air tank's yeah. maybe another seven hundred, yeah. depending on the type so, you get. No, they will tell you exactly what PSI you're pressing at. Uh, the other ones, like the uh, like the Stahl Tautronics and mm -hmm. the Geonite, right. uh, I want to say, I'm not sure if Insta does. Uh, I fr I, please forgive me if anyone from Insta or Hicks is watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I know for sure the Stahls and Geonite heat presses, uh, when you press on them, they'll have an indicator. It's a yeah. scale of one to nine, nine being the highest, mm -hmm. one being the lowest, yeah. uh, or zero in some cases. Exactly. 
it'll tell you, you know, relatively how much pressure mm-hmm, you're at. Mm-hmm. But uh, they won't say exact PSI. They'll just kind of give yeah. you a relative reading, like, hey, you're at a six or seven. Right. I press my vinyl at six or seven. Mm-hmm, Easy mm-hmm. weight stretch. You're gonna want to up it to like an eight, maybe, yeah. or a nine. Those are great so, presses, by the way, yeah. too. Phenomenal presses. Um, it's just, if you're just starting off, they may be a little bit out of budget because they start going in the expensive range. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of, you know, the big point of this video, too, is show you, like, where do I start? You know, yeah. what's now, a good place? Now, we do have some really cool things coming up, so make sure you stay tuned in the next couple of weeks right. to Heat Press Nation. Uh, we have some cool developments, yeah. some cool products we'll be showing you uh-huh. uh, within the next month or so. We do. That we're very excited about. Um, you know, some things that might help you get more even and consistent pressure. We can't disclose too much here live, but all we can tell you is to stay tuned. Absolutely. Rod, do we got any questions on Instagram? Uh, Yeah, we got a couple. Hopefully they're still around. But uh, somebody was asking what the a good cap press might be. Uh, They were talking about the signature series auto open. Yeah, well, that's a great point. We just dropped the signature series auto open cap press it's phenomenal it is it's, it's awesome yeah it's you know fantastic. some of the things that we you know we've improved about this one is some of people have had the signature series before the upper platen was i think three and a half by five inches mm-hmm. a little too small for some styles of hats like trucker leaving a little bit of the ones with, like the big crowns yeah yeah, for yeah big heads like mine yeah it's a four by nine inch upper platen now so it completely encompasses most it has an auto open feature jared and of course, you know, interchangeable lower elements, you it, know? And, and not only that, it comes with the additional elements. It does, it does. You don't have to buy them separately, The whole right? kit, everything yeah. you need. Yeah, it's fantastic, big fan of that. Yeah. Uh, heat press, just press. dropped like last week. I know, I know. Yeah, they're gonna be available very soon here. Well those, actually no, so the Cap Pro is available now. Is it? Yes, okay. Signature Series auto, auto Open Cap Pro, uh, Cap Press is available right now. Uh-huh. And we got some cool stuff to come. Um, before we let you go, we do wanna tell you guys, we biffed it last week. We forgot about the <laughs> contest. So there's no winner this week. But if you guys want to win a $40 mm-hmm. HPN digital gift card, all you got to do is tag a friend. That's it. Tag them right now. This is open to our Facebook friends. Uh, now, if on Instagram you want to enter as well, all you got to do mm-hmm. is tag a friend in this post. So, exactly. you know, go to, our, go to our page on Instagram and you'll see how we have mm-hmm. our, our, you know, our weekly announcement post. Uh, just tag a friend in that post. You'll be entered to win as well. And of course, our Facebook friends, tag a friend in this video that you're watching right now, right. Um, and you'll be entered to win. We're giving away a $40 gift card uh, to uh, HPN, so it's good for anything. Like, it's really. cool. It's cool. And we can actually send them directly to you now. Because yes. before we had, a, you know, we launched a new, uh, new website. We you have to call into you store credit. Oh, so weird. Yeah. Not the case anymore. <laughs> we'll you know email it directly over to you. So even if you're late night shopping, you don't have to call in anymore. <laughs> you can just type it in. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So we're giving away, we're giving that away next week. So mm-hmm. to enter, you have to tag someone now. Yep. Tag a friend in the comments. That's how you enter. We're gonna keep it yep. open all week long. So maybe you're watching the replay. Mm-hmm. Um, just tag a friend you have until tag next. Tag multiple, so your your chances. Yeah, gone, right? yeah. Every Trip comment on. with a tag is an entry. Right. So if you have five friends, don't tag them all in the same mm-hmm. comment. One friend a comment per comment. That's exactly. the best way to spread them out uh, to have the best chance of winning. All right. Yeah. Uh, last thing before we go, don't forget to join our Facebook group. Of course. Heat dot press slash FB group. It's right there, right. you guys. And uh, if you have any questions that we didn't answer oh, yes. here today, don't forget our YouTube is full of content, guys. We had a very in-depth video that we cover both of these in a little bit more detail, actually. Yeah. So if we didn't get to answer your questions now, um, either call in or, of course, check the YouTube. Um, great That's videos it. that we have, not only just even regarding these two, but hundreds and thousands of videos of just different topics in general that you may be curious about. Yeah. So, so much stuff, you guys, mm-hmm. so much content. Can't wait to see you there. And of course, if you have any questions, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you got, comment, and uh, we'll do our best to get back to you as ASAP as possible. All right. All right, I think that's going to do it for us on this Friday, Junior. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. All right.